Modern network cyber physical systems pose a special challenge for cyber vulnerability assessment. Communication protocols may be inherently vulnerable, may be implemented in an unsafe manner, or may be vulnerable to timing attacks in which carefully timed inputs can be used to disrupt system operations. Developed under AFRL's NOVA program, Adventium Lab's Volta software automates the process of exploring the behavior of implemented systems, including timed behavior. This automation may save days or weeks of effort by specialized analysts. Because it learns implemented behavior, Volta can be applied to legacy systems, even where documentation is not available, or as a design aid to identify vulnerabilities in systems currently being designed or modified. Volta learns an explicit model of the behavior of the implemented system and so can detect vulnerabilities that neither fuzzing nor conventional testing may be able to find. In some cases, Volta can establish that no such vulnerabilities exist. On the Volta project, we have been analyzing the behavior of the Gotenna, a device for communication using cell phones in environments where there is no cell service. Consider the simple process of sending an encrypted message from one Gotenna user to another. In normal use, this is what the sending Gotenna user sees. They send a message and receive an explicit notification, send succeeded or send failed. Looking in more detail, we can see that the user employs an app that talks to the Gotenna through an application programming interface, or API. Documentation for the API tells us how the Gotenna interacts with the app and so with the user. But what is happening in the interface between this Gotenna and other devices? In order to learn this behavior, we implemented a test harness for the sending Gotenna, such that Volta can communicate with the device through the API and can also model a remote Gotenna system. Preliminary analysis provides us with the following set of interactions for sending a private encrypted message from one user to another. If the messages are exchanged in the order shown, the message will be successfully transmitted. But what happens if these interactions happen out of order, or if some of them are missing or duplicated? We used Volta to learn how the Gotenna would respond. Here is the model that Volta learned. Let's observe how the highlighted path corresponds to a user sending a private message. The user requests a message be sent, then the sending Gotenna requests a public encryption key from the destination Gotenna. Receiving that key, the sending Gotenna encrypts and sends the message. The model that Volta learned also shows what happens if the public key response from the receiving Gotenna is delayed while the user keeps sending messages. As we can see, those messages will be queued, waiting for the other system to send its public key. Once that key is received, the queued messages are sent, but if the key is never received, the messages are never sent. There is no timeout and no explicit indication to the user that there is a problem. Should the user happen to notice this problem, they won't be able to fix it without restarting the device. At that point, all of the messages that have been queued up will be lost. Once Volta has identified this problem, we can investigate the Gotenna's code in order to confirm and analyze the vulnerability. In this case, we find that the method that should be called to flush the message queue is never called, resulting in the loop described above. This analysis also suggests a possible repair, implementing a timeout for waiting for the public key response. As we have shown, Volta automatically finds vulnerabilities in system behavior. A proposed fix such as this timeout can be added to the implementation that Volta used to learn the system's modified behavior, testing to see whether the vulnerability is in fact gone, as well as whether other vulnerabilities may have been introduced in the process. For more information on how Volta can accelerate system analysis for vulnerability assessment, please contact us by email.